Excitement and anticipation as a stem cell tourism company prepares to open shop in Koreatown. Today, doctors showed off their first American success story, a man whose fat cells cured his arthritis. Here's the church. This is a new moment in, in history of medicine. Here's the steeple. A childhood game he thought he'd never play again, wiggling his fingers with abandon, buttoning his shirt, no trouble at all. But artist John Cullison says Hello. just a few months ago, none of this was possible. His hands? They looked like claws. They were cramped up, they hurt. The problem, arthritis and unbearable pain. John went to a stem cell conference where he met immunologist Dr. T.J. Yu, a professor at the University of Tennessee. Dr. Yu recommended a trip to South Korea for experimental stem cell treatment. I told him, uh, nobody has done this stem cell treatment for arthritis so far. Doctors here in the U.S. poked into John's belly and took out fat cells. And from those, doctors in Korea isolated adult stem cells and grew a billion of them in a lab. Some of John's stem cells were infused via IV. Others were injected directly into his joints. And that really hurt, I tell you. And um, 12 hours later, I had total prestidigitation. Dr. Yu could barely contain his excitement. New, new area, nobody has done it. This is John is the first case, think about it, eight days, two weeks, all symptoms gone. It's never heard of. Dr. Yu offers a possible explanation. Stem cells, even adult ones, can become any type of tissue. Cell knows what body needs. The Korean company which paid for John's treatment will soon open an office in Koreatown. RNL Bio will arrange overseas travel for Americans who want to try stem cell therapies not legal in the U.S. Some of John's leftover stem cells were injected into the right side of his forehead. The wrinkles apparently diminished on that side of his face. So even more possibilities. We can say, you know, theoretically it could treat everything from um, Alzheimer's to wrinkles. A big claim considering John is one of a very small number of RNL Bio's human success stories. How long will the treatment last and could there be another explanation besides stem cells? Until more time has passed and more patients have tried this, there may be no way to know.